Okay, so here we are at quilt number three, and I went back and forth quite a bit on what quilt number three was going to be. I have a quilt that I need to get done that my aunt has asked me to do, but I kind of want to give myself a little bit more time than just two weeks to do it. So what I'm going to do this week for quilt number three is I'm going to try and get an entire quilt done in a weekend. So how am I going to do that? I have this little charm pack that I got from Kelly Quilt Co. as they did a little event for the Sacramento Modern Quilt Guild. They did like a an evening weekend for us to like shout out and be excited for their grand opening and everything. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a pattern that I'm going to use for this charm squares. Um, it's got 42 pieces in here so that could easily be a six by seven grid and they're all purples. So it's the Lavender Fields palette. So we're gonna take a look at there. And so the Lavender Fields palette, it's got um, 0.75, so just over three quarters of a yard of fabric, which is important because I'm tracking my fabric outtake this year, as well as my intake. So, so far I think we're doing pretty good on that. Um, anyways, so five, five, five by five squares, and I'm gonna be looking up some patterns, and as soon as I get that information, which if I'm gonna do it this weekend, it's gotta be quick. So I'm gonna see what all I can find in my stash. I don't think I'm gonna long arm this one. I think I'm gonna do it on my Janome with a walking foot. So I'm gonna see what I have in my stash that is shades of purple or that will go with purple to see what I can knock out in a weekend. I've got my bowl of scraps and I think I'm going to try and incorporate those with the charm squares. So I'm going to check on YouTube and see what tutorials I might be able to find. All right, so I can't find the tutorial I saw a couple weeks ago. I don't know what I searched to find it, but it was really cool. So if I find it by the end of all this, I'll reference it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my charm squares and I'm going to take my, get all my stuff out of this bowl, the black scraps, and I'm going to cut the black scraps into, I want to say two, two and a half inch squares. Now maybe I'll do two inch, so it's not quite half of the block. And then I'm going to sew them in the corner. So then when they get all lined up, it'll be kind of like a little zigzaggy pattern. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it turns out like I'm imagining it. Like I remember from the quick blip of a YouTube video I watched, so quote me for not saving it. I swear I saved it, but it's not on my not on my playlist. So maybe if I deep dive my search history. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's about ten minutes until Friday night hangout starts with my Sacramento Quilt Guild. So I'm gonna get things prepped and get ready because I'm hosting that and I gotta hope that my iPod is connected to the Wi-Fi here at my parents house because if not I'll have to use my phone and I'll have to figure out how to video on my iPod so either way some kind of technology is getting used so here are my black squares all cut and my purple ones are ready to go so now I'm going to sew those on the corner
So here's the layout. Um, I think it looks pretty cute. So I did a little bit bigger than two and a half inch squares, which I found, I did find the video. So I will link that in the description box if I haven't already. Um, so there it is. Now I'm going to sew these rows together and then go from there. What do you think, Roscoe? Is this going to be a finished quilt top tonight? Are you going to do it? What do you think? Nothing? So I've got my strips all pressed and now I just have to take my rows and sew them into a quilt top. So right now it is 10.05 on Friday night and this is going to be a quilt top by 11 I'm sure if not 10.30 like I've only got six seams to sew. So here is a look at the potentially finished quilt top. Um, I'm going to put a call out on Instagram to see whether people think I should put a border on it or leave it as is. Take your vote now. Do you think I'm going to put a border on it or do you think I'm going to leave it as is? So right now it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. Today was fun. I had an errand to run after work, actually during work. So I trained for two hours and then my quick little errand that was supposed to take maybe an hour resulted in my car overheating on my way back to work. So then I had to sit on the side. Was it actually, okay. I was able to get a parking lot. So, um, at first we thought something was just leaking. So I called my dad and he was like, Oh, we'll be fine. And then as soon as I got close to the freeway, um, it wasn't just leaking. It was then turning to overheating. So the joke is that whenever my dad goes out of town, I have car troubles anyways. Um, so now my car was towed to the, sh to the auto shop and um, I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru line finally. So my cousin came and picked me up. He drove me back to work. Um, and so I was at work until about eight and then he came and drove me home. So props to my cousin Ben for driving way out of his way to come get me. Um, so I didn't have to pay for a lift. But now my car's at the shop. I'm in my parents' van um, because they're out of town move, helping my sister move apartments. And now I'm getting Chick-fil-A. So now that I'm parked and out of a drive-thru, um, the reason why that was relevant to my quilting was since I was trying to get this done, this project done in the weekend, um, today's been a day and I don't know if I'm going to get any sewing done, but luckily this is a small quilt. Um, I'm still waiting to see my poll results for whether I'm going to add a border or not on it or whether I should add a border. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to. Um, so we'll check that out. I'm going to go inside now and eat my Chick-fil-A before it gets cold and veg out on the couch because that's, that's the kind of Saturday night it is. So here we are with the quilt top. It's all done and ready. Um, the fabric that I grabbed from my stash thinking it would be a good border um, isn't as black as I would have liked it to be. So I'm just going to do no border. And then when we do the binding, it's going to be a nice black binding all the way around to kind of frame it up. So I'm still working my way through getting rid of this fabric from my stash. So I'm going to cut the backing piece for it and then start checking my batting scraps to see what is going to fit or if I need to piece something. So my batting was just barely not wide enough. So I have two scraps that I'm going to Frankenstein together. I'm going to put my machine on a zigzag stitch and then just lay these side by side, not overlapping them and then zigzag down the, down the seam line.
All right, so now we're gonna start the quilting and I'm just gonna do the straight lines that I chalked. I'm going to follow those. And then uh, once I get this side all stitched, I'm gonna flip it around, chalk the other side and do the other diagonal. One side down, one to go, and I'll check in when we're done. So it is just after 3.15 on Sunday, and there it is, it's all done. So I'm just taking some pictures of it, and it'll be ready to go. So you'll see the finished photos at the end of this post. So my binding on here, I ended up doing a two inch strip, just cause that's the biggest piece the widest piece of my scraps were consistently. So I did a two inch super scrappy binding and like they were most like four inches strips long and I made it all the way around. So there's the quilting so you can see that up close. So yeah, it is all done. All done, no weekend.